Hi and welcome to IPM Leap. Today I am going to discuss an important and often asked question from the topic permutations and combinations. The question is, in how many ways can you select a black square and a white square on a chessboard such that they don't lie in the same row or column? Now for attempting this question, students require some basic overview of permutations and combinations such as the fundamental rule of counting. So I would recommend that you revise those topics from the PNC playlist on our channel. But if you are confident about PNC basics, then do try out the question. You may pause the video and take your own time and once you have attempted it, let's discuss. So you know the question. Pick two squares, one white and one black, such that they don't lie in the same row or column. We already know that there are a total of 8 into 8, 64 squares on a chessboard. Half of them, that is 32, are white and the other half, 32, are black. So if there were no constraints and we had to pick one white square, we could do it in 32 ways because we could pick any one out of the 32 white squares. And if we were allowed to pick any black square, irrespective of which white square we have picked, we could do that in 32 ways again, because we would select any one out of 32 black squares. So in how many ways could we pick them together? Now here, the fundamental rule of counting comes handy. The fundamental rule of counting says that if an action can be performed in M ways and a second independent action can be performed in N ways, Together, these two actions can be performed in n into n ways. So if the white square could be picked in 32 ways and then the black square can again be picked in 32 ways, together these two squares can be picked in 32 into 32 ways which is equal to 1024 ways. So that is a quick recap of the fundamental rule. Now let's solve our original question with constraints. Let's pick the white square first. And by the way, even if you pick the black square first, it will not change your answer. So any one white square out of 32 can be selected in 32C1, that is 32 ways. Next, we must rule out all the black squares which lie in the same row, four of them, and rule out all the black squares that lie in the same column, again four of them. Out of the remaining squares, which would be 32 minus 8, that is 24 in number, we can select any black square in 24C1, that is 24 ways. Therefore, together, one white and one black square can be selected in 32 into 24, that is 768 ways. So that brings us to the end of this video. You may try out our next challenge which is from the topic sequences and series and post your answers in the comments box below. Do subscribe, like and share our videos. Hope you all stay safe, healthy and happy always. Take care everyone.